in now with Fox 12's Jeffrey Limblum joining us live from Lake Oswego, where Jeffrey, I understand they're under a state of emergency there. Correct. Yeah, we're here in Lake Oswego, where what I'm about to show you is far from the extent of what we've been seeing around here. A downed tree crushing that their car and a downed power line to cap that off. On the way out here, it was like a labyrinth as we saw cross streets riddled with fallen trees around the neighborhood. Downed power lines also all over this area, leading to stoplights currently being out of use. I learned how dire the situation was by speaking with people around the Lake Forest neighborhood who say they're on edge. Fearful trees may fall on their homes where we've seen several houses struck by those fallen trees. One neighbor shared a tree they caught falling on camera. <gasps> oh god oh god oh my god so many 200 foot trees around here it's a little terrifying yeah it's a little unnerving yeah. where they start you know you see them just swaying. swaying around everywhere and, like, and you just start hearing crash crash pop pop and you know the transformer sound my son came in the house and he goes um your car is smashed i'm like holy sh you know i couldn't believe it Debbie told me her car was crushed and totaled. Power lines covering it. You can see that. People around here say they're staying inside, but are also staying diligent, listening closely for those falling trees should they need to react. I'm not sure of any injuries at this point. One person shared with me that they took somebody in who had one of those uh, crushed trees, or excuse me, one of those trees falling home. So those people are at least doing okay. Um, oh. But I do wow. know these hundreds are out of power at this point. Reporting live from uh, Lake Oswego, I'm Jeffrey Limblum for Fox Football, Oregon. I was just looking in the, the PGE map still at 155,000 homes and businesses. So. Yeah,